All right, it's about uh, noon time on December the 4th, and uh, this is Fort Pickens, Florida, just outside of Pensacola on the Barrier Islands out here, and uh, coming up on the northern terminus, terminus of the Florida Trail, so pretty awesome day. It's a little overcast, probably about 65 degrees, so going to be a really comfortable day to start the hike, so pretty neat spot here. All right, here's the marker. Almost walked right by it. The northern terminus of the Florida Trail. Established 1983. So here's what we're looking at so far. So Now uh, today, it's gonna be an interesting day because obviously the late start flying in this morning and I ended up taking an Uber to get out here so it worked out really good had a great uber driver told me a lot of history about the area and everything and uh i've got 10 miles to walk and i'm staying in the hampton inn tonight so <laughs> pretty easy hiking compared to what i'm used to at least hopefully it will be day one anyway so and most of it's going to be on the beach i understand but uh we'll see how it is so anyway Back later. Florida Trail. Only, oh, it says 1,298 miles to go. So, <laughs> here we go. All right, this is the trail. <laughs> so, Unfortunately, it looks like I hit it at high tide, which uh, means I can either walk in the super fine powdery sand up there or right along the edge get my feet wet a little bit, but uh, I'm not complaining. Pretty nice trail. All right, uh, cruising along here, probably about eight miles in and uh, going good. Those tall buildings up there, that's my destination. It's only like three o'clock, so uh, there's the walk right there. I actually started walking a little further away from the water. Found it to be slightly easier without the combing as much, even though the sand's a little bit softer here. But hey, uh, there is good news. There's at least one other hiker here because I'm seeing. Uh, footprints with trekking pole marks next to them so I'm not the only one out here but I haven't seen anybody else yet hiking but anyway just a couple more miles so end up being a pretty easy day today to get things started here anyway back later check this out I'm sporting a new orange hat reluctantly but I'm going through a lot of areas with uh, where hunting season is open so they recommended an orange hat so here I am I've uh, transitioned off the beach onto the bike path here for the next uh, mile or so to the hotel. So I'm just going to take a little break here. It's only like 3 o'clock, so I'm probably going to be at the Hampton Inn by, uh, yeah, I could get there by 4, but I'm going to take my time getting there. So anyway, going good. Super easy uh, way to start this trail out. So um, we'll see uh, what else is in store, but this might be it for tonight. So pretty pretty simple day. So Anyway, um, I'll be back later or in the morning. All right, wrapping up my first day on the Florida Trail. Boy, I could get used to this trail. <laughs> back in the morning. All right, 5.30 in the morning, December 5th. Starting day two. All right, about an hour and a half in this morning, and sun's up. Probably around 42 degrees, so a little chilly, but not too awfully bad. So uh, let's see, to, the way today's going to work out, uh, I've got about seven miles roughly on this bike path along the beach here, and then followed by like seven-ish miles on the actual beach, and uh, then another few miles of bike path and then a bridge to get off of this barrier island so um 
as far as mileage for today, uh, 19 miles in, there's a few hotels. I could stay there, or if I feel like I can make it 26, there's a campsite in the woods. So that's pretty much what I'm dealing with today, either 19 to another hotel or 26 to a campsite in the woods. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Also, when I get uh, like 18-ish miles in, there's uh, restaurants and convenience stores, stuff like that. So I'll be able to grab some food as I go. Anyway, beautiful day, a little chilly but uh, really nice, so back later. All right, made it to the uh, beach walk section, so about seven miles on this. I'm gonna try it up here in the uh, semi-loose sand to start with, and if I get tired of this, I'll go back close to the water and kind of alternate back and forth, but anyway, going good. It's like there's some buildings way down there and that's probably the end of my beach walk when I get to there, so. Anyway, back later. All right, about uh, three more walk miles of beach walking to go, so. And uh, it's legit getting hard, you know, so. Tried walking close to the water, but you can see it drops off so much down there that it's just hard to do, so. I'm up here and uh, just a little soft, but we're getting through it. All right, it's about 10.30 and I'm done with the beach and uh, entering a place called Navarre Beach and I'll be on this bike path for about three miles or so. Then we'll be across the bridge leaving the barrier island. So anyway, going good. All right, here we go. We're leaving the Barrier Island, heading to the mainland. Well, will you look at this actual trail? And it is pretty nice. <laughs> so I'm on Elgin Air Force Base now, and uh, it's I think it's about three o'clock. And I've got about three more miles to go, something like that. So I'm going to make it that 26 to an actual camp spot tonight. So ended up being a beautiful day, really. So no complaints. If I can, I'll check back in when I get to my site here. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be the only one there. I haven't seen another hiker yet. So we'll see. I thought I, I did see uh, on the beach a couple of times where it looked like there were marks with a trekking pole next to footprints. So there could be somebody else out here in front of me but that I might catch, but not sure. We'll find out here. Back later. Yes, and my blazes for this trail that I'll be following are orange. So remember the white blazes on the AT? Well, Florida Trail, you follow orange blazes. Another one right there. All right, it's about uh, 4.30, and, uh, which incidentally is the time that the sun sets around here. So <laughs> I'll be up for a little bit yet, but not long. So I'm the only one here, and uh, this is called Dean Campsite. After 26 miles today, a little and some change. Um, got a little fire pit, a couple of benches here, and uh, getting ready to have dinner. So I'll be back in the morning. All right, good morning. It's 5.30 a.m. on Wednesday, December the 6th. So just getting started this morning and pretty much got no choice but to start in the dark out here because it's only light for like 11 hours a day. So you can only stay in this tent for so long. <laughs> it is cold. I think it's about 39 right now. And uh, I'm dressed for hiking, so until I get moving here, it's pretty chilly. Not sure exactly what the plan is today, but I'm going to be in the woods for most of the day. I think I got a short road walk late morning, and I'm going to come to a um, convenience store, Tom Thumb store, 
in about 13 miles. Then back in the woods to camp tonight, and I have a campsite at 19 miles. And the closest one after that is like 27 and a half. So more than likely, I think I'm looking at that 19 mile. But uh, not 100% sure. We'll see how things go here. So, but it's supposed to be a beautiful day. High of 57 and sunshine. So we'll see how it goes. Back later. All right, it's getting light. I'm about an hour or so in, and uh, it's getting light, but it's not getting warm yet. So <laughs> it's very cold this morning. So trail's been absolutely wonderful, but uh, unfortunately, you can hear a little road noise. But other than that, it's been great. I am on the Air Force Base, so um, got to pretty much stay on the trail through here and had to get a permit and take a little test to identify unexploded ordnance, and I'm supposed to let them know if I if I find any. So hopefully I won't. Pretty cool stuff all along the trail here. I think this is called deer deer moss, I think, or something like that. Deer moss or deer fungus or something, but pretty cool. Beautiful spot. Check this out. The trail actually has hills. I don't even know if you can see this on the video, but I've been going up and down hills. It's hard to even believe, but the Florida Trail has hills. All right, I'm in the middle of a five mile road walk. <laughs> so, which is not bad. I'll be back into the woods here in another couple miles. But uh, yeah, the worry in this section, there's been a lot of reports of dogs attacking hikers. So. I'm fully armed with my trekking poles and I have my pepper spray handy. So hopefully I won't need either one. So anyway, see how it goes here. Back later. Oh, I'm making great time today. It's uh, noon and I probably got probably pushing almost 15 miles already. So going good. Anyway, back later. All right. It's a little after one o'clock and uh it's just never gonna warm up today <laughs> i'm guessing it's 55 degrees but the wind's blowing so even when you're in the sunshine a little bit the wind's keeping it cool so anyway but making good time i passed up my campsite at 19 miles which is going to commit me to the 27 and a half mile day today so but shouldn't be a problem one o'clock now and uh you know, I've got 7.5 uh, to go right now at 1 o'clock. So, we'll see. Should be fine to get in there. Hopefully, before it gets dark here, nothing gets crazy with the trail. We'll see. It's uh, been good for the most part. You know, a few boggy, wet areas to go over. And, you know, it looks like maintenance hasn't been done in a lot of areas yet this year. So, it's a little bit overgrown here and there. But, certainly not a bad trail at all right now so anyway back later also right now i'm in this longleaf pine restoration area so it looks like maybe this thing had been logged clear cut at one point in time and uh, now they're trying to replant these longleaf pines but they are pretty cool that's some long pine needles Balance better be good for this log. Burnt Grocery Creek. Okay, see this sign? This is a rarity in Florida for two reasons. First, it says nothing. Second, there's no bullet holes in it. All right, it's about 3.30 p.m. and uh, got about another mile to go to camp. So, starting to get cold already. Sunsets at like, I guess it's officially like 4.45 here, but it's getting cold already. So, anyway, supposed to get down to 
34 tonight, so it's gonna be pretty chilly. So just thinking, I've been on this trail for three days now, and I've yet to see another hiker. So, I mean, obviously I've walked on roads, etc., and I've seen plenty of people, but as far as a Florida trail hiker or even a section hiker or even a day hiker, I've seen absolutely zero people on the actual trail so far so pretty uh different than uh appalachian trail or the pacific crest trail for sure so anyway back later uh if i can or in the morning here all right wrapping up the evening here uh after 27 and a half miles i'm at a place called guest guest campsite or guest lake campsite and uh, i'm not crazy about it it's a little close to the road for me but <laughs> Not much I can do about it now. At least it's not a weekend. It's a weekday, so hopefully it's not an issue. But anyway, um, hopefully uh, it's not too cold tonight, and I'll be back in the morning. All right, good morning. Thursday, December 7th, on the trail at uh, 6.30 a.m., just, just when it's getting light here. Um, cold last night, very cold. <laughs> cold right now, so... Um, I think the story of today is a lot of road walking. So, got a little trail uh, to start out this morning. Then we got a fair amount of road walking for about 20 miles into a town called Crestview. So, we'll see. Um, there's actually hotels and stuff there. So, I think I may jump in there tonight. But uh, we'll see how things go here and uh, be back in a little bit. I'm going to try to get warmed up here. Finally found my hiking buddy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Yeah, you're friendly. All right, I'm about five miles in this morning. It's about 8.30 and this is my life for the next 15 miles to the town of Crestview. Wee fun. Well, at least a lot of the road walk, you can walk this power line easement which is well back from the road so it's really not that bad but uh anyway going good ah uh, my first cache of the road walk not counting change of course there's been plenty of that all right made it to the town of crestview and it's only like one o'clock but this is probably gonna wrap it up for today um i've got two more miles to go i've booked a room at the Hampton Inn, so that's where I'll be tonight. So, four days on the Florida Trail and two nights in a Hampton. So, <laughs> can't beat that, huh? And then uh, I pass a Publix and a Walmart uh, on my way there. So, I've got to get a three day, three and a half day resupply um, for this next section I'm going into. So, I'll be into the real trail starting tomorrow. I've got like a, I think it's 77 miles somewhere around there um with uh, no resupply points in there anywhere it'll be all on trail inside of uh elgin air force base so anyway that's the plan so i'll be back with any changes <laughs>